Hey baddies, welcome to the Glam Effect. I wanted to give you girlies the tea on this new wig that I got from Demiso Hair. She's so sexy and luxurious and I love this color. And she's also 24 inches and glueless, okay? So you're able to take her off at night, especially if you wanted a girlies that like to work out, like to have your real hair out, you're able to remove her at night and hang her up, okay? Also, she came pre-plucked and colored, okay? So you cannot beat that. And when I tell you she's so affordable this wig was under 150 dollars you cannot beat that honeys okay so y'all let me give y'all the rundown on this wig okay so she came in a cute little box i was so excited to open her i have been so excited for this wig to come in this wig is 100 percent human hair and um yes it's glueless i wanted to show you girlies like how cute the box is and the packaging was it's 24 inches and it is a body wave wig okay also, the wig came with an HD wig cap and some lashes, which I love because I love HD wig caps. They make the install just look way more natural. And, baddies, I recommend you guys using them as well. Like, if y'all are not on the HD wig caps, like, y'all gotta get on it, okay? It makes your install look super natural. But, yes, the wig was pre-plucked, which I love. And I really adored the hair color. Like, the hair color was super sexy. I had never tried this hair color before, but I knew it was going to look excellent on my skin tone and it's valentine's day soon so i was like this would definitely give like a bombshell goddess look okay so yeah this wig is super beautiful the wig was super soft and i also recommend getting a body wave wig if you're one of the type of girlies who like to curl your hair the it seems like the curls last longer in body wave units so keep that in mind also i enjoyed the clips and the band because it's glueless and this makes the install super easy to install i ended up customizing my wig a little bit off the camera my battery had died but um i had this wig came pre-plucked back and i put it on my mannequin head it's so much easier for me to customize the wig when I put it on my mannequin head. So, I don't know if y'all can see. I'm going to change the angle. But, I plucked the part a little bit. It came pre-plucked, but I plucked it a little more. And I cut some baby hairs and some layers in the front a little bit. Just so it can follow my face. I'm going to recurl the curls in the front too but this wig is luscious okay it's giving Beyonce <laughs> back in the day like uh, 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 uh. I love this wig I love that it's two-toned it's a sexy wig okay I love it yeah I'm gonna curl my um baby hairs with like my mini planner you guys, I didn't I don't have that other flat iron. Um the ones the girlies be using with the baby hairs. I use my old little traveling uh flat iron and it gets the job done as well. So since this wig is glueless, I prefer to have baby hairs just so I can have extra um protection with the installment because I sweat on my hairline like right here so with baby hairs I'm gonna put some products and like a little bit of spritz on my baby hair just so I can make sure my wig stays on my head with no problem so all I did was um, hot comb the wig down to the mannequin head and um, now I'm gonna be you know flipping up my um, my baby hairs to me having your baby hairs already like position is easier for me when it comes to a glueless wig um having all that prep before placing it on my head so that's just my way of doing things sometimes i go the route of plucking my baby hairs and um like position them after i lay my wig down but with this being a glueless wig i feel like it would be better if i were to um Reposition my baby hairs just so I can make sure that everything um, is aligned and um, lined up correctly because this is a glueless wig and it's not a lot of space that where you can like you know customize your baby hairs you got to be 
direct so yeah You can flip your baby hairs anyway. You can flip them up or down. It doesn't really matter. Right now, I'm flipping them up. It really doesn't matter. This is up to Baby hairs is optional. Some people don't like baby hairs. Me, I'm a baby hair girl. Okay, I love me some baby hairs. It depends on the uh, install as well. Like, some wigs, they look good with baby hairs. I feel like some so some of them, um, you know, you know, you can skip baby hairs if you like. But with this wig, to me, I'm not going to skip baby hairs. I'm on, on this particular look. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We just, we're just um, curling up the baby hairs so it can be easier for me to lay them down. And we're going to lay them down um, with mousse. And I use a little bit of age control too. Like, you know, some girls be like, I don't use products on my baby hairs. Shoot, I do. I use spritz to lay mine down because I don't have time for flyaways with baby hairs. Like, that process is so annoying. I rather not. I rather skip that part. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to lay down anyway. This is just to give the hair a shape. And since this is a glueless, um, a U part wig, since this is a glueless wig, I have, um, it's not a frontal, so I like the extra security in the front with baby hairs. Okay, and then I get like any type, you can use any type of mousse to lay your baby hair down, but I promise you, if you're a, a beginner, um, making sure you use your mannequin head and customizing it is so much easier. If you're a beginner with wigs, I feel like using a mannequin head to customize your wig is easier. You know, it reminds me of this of back in the days when we used to have like our brat doll heads, and it's just I don't know. Me doing my hair on my mannequin head, my wig on my mannequin head before applying it, it just makes the process easier. I feel like it's easier for beginners as well. So, yeah, okay. okay. Make sure you guys see it. Got some loose on here. I ain't gonna do, I'm not gonna do like no big baby hairs. But, I'm gonna cut them too.
so yes look baddies look how the wig is coming out it's super cute so right here i'm going to be cleaning off the makeup on my hairline um i usually like doing my hair before installing a wig for some odd reason but yeah you gotta make sure you clean that off so here i have my 70 percent alcohol and yeah i'm rubbing that in getting that excess makeup off my hairline so my wig can lay down okay here i have my handy dandy lace tinting spray which will help my wig look more like my skin tone so here i have my wig i'm getting ready to spray it down um, I actually use foundation too, but right now I'm just going to use the tinted lace spray because it's just easier. And yeah, I don't really use my brown one, so I want to use it, but I like this product. Okay. See, baddies, check out my lace. It looks more like my skin tone. I really do appreciate that. And I do recommend using foundation if you don't have that spray. But this is me here adjusting the straps to my small little head. Okay, because I got to make sure this motherfucker stay on, y'all. Y'all do not want y'all wigs falling off. I had that happen before because I didn't adjust my strap. I got to tell y'all about that another time. But yes, you got to make sure your wig is securely on, especially when it's glueless. So I do highly recommend you using those clips, baby. Because when I did it one time, my wig fell the fuck off in a public setting. But I'm going to get y'all the tea on it another time, okay? We're trying to get this wig on and make sure that this baby is secure. So this is me here trying to adjust my wig. Y'all, I love this freaking hair color, especially against my skin tone. I feel like it really highlights my skin tone. I am really am a, a black girly. Like, I usually go straight to black hair, and I'm not really a, a brown hair girly so, but this wig definitely changed my perspective on brown hair especially with it being highlighted okay i love it so much like this color is definitely giving ginger like spring vibes it's super sexy and i feel like this would be a great wig for valentine's day that's why y'all had to have my little valentine's day um onesie on because i'm definitely in the spirit and i am a lover's girl i love love and i love looking beautiful okay and this wig is definitely giving glam period yeah and sometimes when you put on a wig you may have to adjust it a few times before you spray it down i recommend doing that because you don't want to be too antsy and not pay attention and spray your hair down and your wig moves so take your times baddies with this stuff make sure your wig is placed in the right area and yes here i'm gonna go in with my lace bun um glue spray to mold down my wig okay i'm not gonna glue it down um, because this is a glue list, but if you were going somewhere and you had to glue it down, I, I recommend you doing that. But since it's glue list and I'm going to be taking it off tonight, I just sprayed it down and I'm going to wrap it around with my elastic band and my little hair scarf for extra pressure and protection. Okay. I recommend you doing this and keeping the elastic band on for about uh, 20 minutes if you can just so you can make sure it's super secure laid down and yes it came out so perfectly look at how pretty my hair freaking looks like this wig looks so great and my lace definitely melted in okay i don't know why the hell i use that damn cotton brown like girl what the fuck am i doing but anywho i'm gonna go in with this ruby concealer here to help blend in my lace to my skin and i have to go back over with some foundation but i like using this to blend out my lace and i usually use on darker hair a darker concealer um just so on my pictures you won't really be able to see um my lace okay because i'm on camera you're gonna see the lace but i don't need that to be showing on my pictures okay so i'm gonna like highlight that out okay and yes I love this concealer and I got it from the local beauty supply so cop that all these products are from the local beauty supply but anywho I love this wig like what who is not a baddie okay cuz who fucking with me 
okay nobody and look i have to give you at least the one to swing on them look back at it period because i gotta let the haters know what all i do is look back at y'all okay <laughs> but yes this wig is so sexy like what i definitely feel like it gives juicy girly vibes and i love the curls the body wave and the texture of this hair it was so luxurious and sexy i had to give you girlies the one two on this wig and you know we never get keep over here on the glamour fit so i had to keep you girlies updated on the latest wig and girl i love me some amazon and i know you girlies do too so go ahead and cop this wig okay you won't regret it and it's definitely a must have all right if you're into glueless wigs but here y'all go check me out I love y'all. Thank you, girlies, for tuning in. And yes, until next time.